Hi, this is Ajay Anand and welcome to science classes from excelup.com. In this lesson, you will learn the solution of NCERT exercise questions from the chapter Light, Reflection and Refraction. These questions have been taken from NCERT textbook of class 10th science. Let us begin with question number one. Question one, which of the following materials cannot be used to make a lens? Options are A, water, B, glass, C, plastic, and D, clay. And the answer is clay because Clay is the only material in this selection which is opaque and other materials like glass and water they are transparent, plastic can be made transparent, there are transparent plastic as well as opaque plastic. So lenses can be made from uh, these three materials but they cannot be made from clay. Question 2. The image formed by a concave mirror is observed to be virtual, erect and larger than the object. Where should be the position of object? Options are between F and C that is focus and center of uh, curvature at C, beyond C, between P and F and the answer is D between P and F. So the practical experience of this can be seen when you are going uh, to a barber shop for getting a haircut. The barbers, they use concave mirrors and they use concave mirrors so that they can get an enlarged image of the customer so that uh, it becomes easier to either shave or cut the hairs. Okay. This diagram, this explains how uh, a virtual, erect and larger image is formed by concave mirror. So this is the mirror, this is the object and object has been placed between F and P. So what happens, the image is formed behind the mirror and these dotted lines, they show that the image is a virtual image. Question 3. Where should an object be placed in front of a convex lens to get a real image of the size of the object? Options are at F, B at 2F, C at infinity and D between O and F and the answer is at 2F and this is the explanation. Here. The object is kept at 2F1 that is on the uh, left side of the image and this light ray is coming parallel to the principal axis after refraction from the lens it passes through F2 and this light ray it is going through O so this emerges without deviation. So both the refracted rays they intersect at this point and which is parallel to or you can say coincident with the 2F2. So image is inverted. It is of equal size as that of object. Question 4. A spherical mirror and a thin spherical lens have each a focal length of minus 15 cm. The mirror and the lens are likely to be option A both concave, option B both convex, C mirror is concave and lens is convex and D mirror is convex and lens is concave. The answer is A both concave. So these are the answers. Okay. Why? Because the focal length it has been taken in negative and in case of whether it's a convex lens or a concave lens because focal length is taken from the left side of the lens. So it is always taken as negative. In case of mirror, 
this is the concave mirror so the focal length is always on the left side of the mirror and that is why this is minus 15 had it been a convex mirror then f would have been on the right side of the mirror question 5 no matter how far you stand from a mirror your image appears erect the mirror is likely to be option a only plane option b only concave option c only convex and option d either plane or convex the answer is d either plane or convex mirror because in both types of mirror that is plane mirror and convex mirror image is always formed behind the mirror and that is why image is always erect question 6 which of the following lenses would you prefer to use while reading small letters found in dictionary option a a convex lens a focal length 50 centimeter a concave lens of focal length 50 centimeter a convex lens of focal length 5 centimeter and a concave lens of focal length 5 centimeter the answer is option c a convex lens of focal length 5 centimeter so we always use a convex lens as a magnifying glass okay but in order to use it conveniently so that the book the distance between the book or written text and the lens is at a comfortable distance a smaller focal length will be better than a larger focal length and that is why option c is the correct answer question 7 we wish to obtain an erect image of an object using a concave mirror of focal length 15 centimeter what should be the range of distance of the object from mirror what is the nature of the image is the image larger or smaller than the object draw a ray diagram to show image formation in this case so the focal length is 15 centimeter so let us move back to the answer of question 2 this diagram this is a concave mirror and you can recall that the object is placed between f and p then image is formed behind the mirror it is larger than the object uh, virtual and erect so since the focal length in the given question is 15 centimeter so the object should always be placed between uh, within that range okay so the object distance will be less than 15 centimeter question 8 name the type of mirror used in following situations a headlight of a car b side or rear view mirror of a vehicle and c a solar furnace support your answer with region so this diagram it shows headlight of a car in case of headlight of a car we need to use a concave mirror uh, in practice it's not exactly concave mirror but it's of parabolic shape the reflector of the headlight and the source of light that is bulb is placed at the focus so what happens the rays of light coming from the bulb or from the focus they emerge parallel to the principal axis after reflection from mirror and that is why we get a straight beam of light from headlight of a car in case of solar furnace situation will be same but the direction of propagation of light will be different so this is also a concave mirror and instead of putting the source of light over here the source of light is at infinity that is sun and whatever object needs to be heated the container it is kept at f so that the rays which are coming parallel to the principal axis after reflection from the mirror all of them they converge at focal focus so for both a and c the answer is concave mirror for side and rear view mirror of a vehicle we need to have a mirror with a wider field of view and that is only possible with convex mirror so that the driver can see traffic of a larger area as much area as possible and this diagram shows it this is a convex mirror 
So wherever the object is placed, the image is always smaller than object. The image is erect, virtual and it is behind the mirror. So for A and C it is concave mirror and for B it is convex mirror. Question 9. One half of a convex lens is covered with a black paper. Will this lens produce a complete image of the object? Explain. The answer is yes. Because in order to get the position of image or the size of image, we need to have at least two rays of light coming from the object so that the intersection of refracted or refracted rays it gives us the position of the image. So this is the lens. The lower portion of this is covered with a black paper as indicated by these uh, red lines. Okay. And this is the object. So these are the rays coming from the object and after refraction uh, they intersect at this point and Im image is formed here. So you can revert the position also instead of uh, blackening this at the bottom half you can blacken it at top half and you will get this more or less same image okay now question 10 an object uh, 5 centimeter in length is held 25 centimeter away from a converging lens of focal length 10 centimeter draw the ray diagram and find the position size and nature of image so what happens the focal length is 10 centimeter and object distance is 25 centimeter that is more than double the focal length so it will be beyond 2 f1 so this is f1 that is 10 centimeter this is 2 f1 so it will be 20 centimeter and this object is here right 25 centimeter right so this is the ray diagram and here the image is formed at where just before 2 f2 between f2 and 2 f2 to find the exact image distance we need to use the lens formula that is 1 v minus 1 u upon 1 f so focal length is given 10 centimeter so we'll take it in uh, and sorry object distance is minus 25 centimeter and height of image is 5 centimeter okay so using the formula let us put the values 1 upon v plus 1 upon 25 is equal to 1 upon 10 and by calculation we get v is equal to 16.66 centimeter and using the magnification formula that is h dash upon h is equal to v upon u the height of the image is 3.33 centimeter question 11 a concave lens a focal length 15 centimeter forms an image 10 centimeter from the lens how far is the object placed from the lens draw the ray diagram so here the focus is minus 15 centimeters since it's a concave lens so focal length is taken in negative in this question the focal length was taken in positive using the lens formula we get 1 upon u is equal to 1 upon 10 plus 1 upon 15 and finally u is equal to minus 30 centimeter so this is at twice the uh, focal length of the lens question 12 an object is placed at a distance of 10 centimeter from a convex mirror of focal length 15 centimeter find the position and nature of image so u is minus 10 f is 15 because it's a convex mirror using the mirror formula 1 upon v plus 1 upon u is equal to 1 upon f or 1 upon v is equal to 1 upon f minus 1 upon u putting all the values we finally get v is equal to 6 centimeter and using the magnification formula that is minus v upon u 
is equal to minus 6 upon 10 is equal to 3 upon 5 or 0 0.6. So that is the height of the image. Image is smaller than object. Question 13. The magnification produced by a plane mirror is plus 1. What does this mean? The answer is simple. This means that image size is equal to object size. Question 14. An object 5 cm in length is placed at a distance of 20 cm in front of a convex mirror of radius of curvature 30 cm. Find the position, nature and size of image. So height is given 5 cm, u is minus 20 cm and f is half of this radius of curvature so it is 15 cm. Okay, since it is a convex mirror so the focal length is positive. Now, using the mirror formula, we can calculate that 1 upon v is equal to 1 upon f minus 1 upon u. And substituting the value, we finally get v is equal to 8.57 centimeter. Using the magnification formula, we get the height of image is equal to 2.14 centimeter. So, less than half of the size of the object. That's all. Sorry. I think there are more questions. Question 15. An object of size 7 cm is placed at 27 cm in front of a concave mirror of focal length 18 cm. At what distance from the mirror should the object be placed so that a sharp focused image can be obtained? Sorry, this is screen. Find size and nature of image. So all the values are given, h is equal to 7 cm, u minus 27 cm and f is equal to minus 18 cm. So this is a convex concave mirror, so focal length is taken in negative. So once again using the mirror formula that is 1 upon v plus 1 upon u, we can calculate the image distance is equal to uh, minus 54 cm. The negative sign shows that image is formed in front of mirror and using the magnification formula uh, we get h is equal to minus 14 centimeter so object size is 7 image size is 14 so image is double that of object and the negative sign shows that it's a real image and it is inverted Position, uh, question 16. Find the focal length of a lens of power minus 2.0 d. What type of lens is this? The formula for power is p is equal to 1 upon f. So f is equal to 1 upon p. And f is minus 0 0.5 meter. Negative sign shows that this is a concave lens. Question 17. A doctor has prescribed the corrective lens of power plus 1.5 d find the focal length of the lens is the prescribed lens diverging or converging so using the same formula we can find f is equal to plus 0 0.66 meter the positive side shows it is a convex lens and a convex lens is a converging lens that's all for this lesson thank you